Alex Joshka, congratulations as you win in the 5000 meter after a brilliant race with a brilliant last lap. How do you feel? Uh, I feel amazing. I mean, it hasn't really sunk in yet because it's so soon. Like, I've never won anything this big before or like been in a track race as big as this. So it's just, you know, I'm, you know, over the moon. I can't express my emotions right now, you know. I'm just happy. What was your tactic? Um, just sit, track every move and pretty much be there with the last 200. Like, you know, I just, I knew I had a really strong kick. So I thought, I'm going to go with 400 to go, get a clear run and just spread things out and make them work hard to catch me up, then relax, let them overtake me again, then just go past them again in the last hundred. Are you used to these kind of races? Oh no, nothing like it. I mean, there's so much pushing and shoving, you know, it is crazy. I thought I was going to go down a couple of times, but you know, it's great mixing it with, you know, such top class athletes and, you know, just not having it easy, having to work really hard for a win. See a sticker in your face, that's probably from your university? Yeah, that's University of Arkansas, that's the Razorback, you know, they've supported me so much, they, you know, paid for, well, you know, they helped pay for my flights to World Cross and, you know, just send me all the gear I need and offer, you know, a great place to develop as an athlete and as a student and I'm just proud to be a Razorback. Uh, racing, racing in the US uh, builds you as an athlete? Yeah, it has, I mean, the competition is so good, like, you know, you have to run sub for the, for the mile, otherwise no one's like, caring about you so you know mixing it with a training group full of sub four milers and like 13 25k runners has you know really helped me you know come on and i've just got so strong from it i've learned how to race i've learned how to be tough from it yeah, and also you've also learned how to be patient because this race where uh, sometimes they would speed up a little bit but it was also very slow sometimes yeah i mean usually like back home if this was that i like this i would just get i'll get annoyed and i'll just take off from the front and try and drop everyone but i know I can't do that here, they're all too good that I can't run away from them from the front so I just had to, you know, bite my tongue a little bit and just not run off at the front and just, you know, sit and wait, 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 wait until I knew I could take it. You attacked and then with the, with the headwind they came back? Yeah, that was my plan really, I was, I was like, I just want to string them out, put a bit of speed in it and, you know, catch them off guard so that they had to you know use more energy to catch me and then they'd probably think that I was dying down the back straight so they'd want to go past me and I was just there like yeah they could take the wind I don't want to take the wind you know how did it feel when you crossed the line and it was a gold medal oh it was crazy I was just there like looking around like seeing if I was still in first because I just couldn't believe it like I thought I'd come in here with a chance of maybe a bronze medal if you know everything went my way but to come away with the gold is just just phenomenal I can't explain how good it feels did you win now a gold medal in your favorite distance? Uh, I mean, I'm not a true fan of the 5K. I'm, I love the 1500, but I think tactically I can race the 5K better because I've got such a quick finish and like, I'm not really big enough for the 1500. I would just get shoved over and especially at the pace, there you go, and I'll just get taken out. So, I mean, I'm learning to love the 5K. It'll be my favorite distance one day, but not quite yet. Maybe the gold medal helps. Oh yeah, the gold medal definitely helps. Like before I was like, uh, but now I'm like, yeah, it's not too bad. I can, I can do it.